In this video, I'll show you how to connect a Node app to Prometheus using Docker Compose. So here's our Prometheus app, which is Dockerized, and here's our Node app that's Dockerized. If we look in the logs right here, our Node Containers metrics route is being scraped every five seconds by Prometheus over here. And because of this, we can get information on our Node server, such as event loop lag, which we can look at right here. And we've got all this other collection information that we can look at to get more information on our Node app. And we're gonna build all this from scratch using Docker and Docker Compose. So to start coding, just open up an empty directory like this. And the first thing we're gonna do is create our environment variables in a file called .env. What these variables will do is define the location of our node container and also our Prometheus container. So the port and the name. And now let's just work on our node project. So I'm gonna create a folder called server and the other one is just gonna be called Prometheus. And let's navigate into our server directory. The first thing we're going to do is initialize this as an npm project, npm init es6-y. This will create our package.json, the type set to module, where we can use more modern import and export syntax. Next, let's install our Prometheus client. So it's an npm package called prom client that basically allows us to connect to a Prometheus server and gather some metrics. And then we're going to install nodemon as a development dependency with dash d. And then inside our package.json file, Let's set our main entry point to our server.js, or sorry, dash source, source dash server.js, which we can create right now. So source and then server.js. And then let's create a simple start script, which all it's gonna do is use nodemon to run our entry point. And now I'm gonna copy the code for our server file into here and just go over what's going on. So essentially what we're gonna do here is just spin up an HTTP server, gather some data, create metrics from it, and send it off to Prometheus. So first we have our environment variables right here. Then we're gonna create a registry from the Prometheus client. And a registry is where metrics will be registered. So it's basically just a list of metrics that the Prometheus client is collecting. Then we're gonna add a static label to every metric emitted by the registry. So we'll see this inside Prometheus um, whenever we have some kind of metric. Then we're gonna add some default metrics to this registry. And these are essentially metrics that are recommended by Prometheus. And here we just spin up our HTTP server using the core node module HTTP. And all we're gonna do is get the route, log out the method and route, and then we're gonna have a route called metrics, which will essentially send our metrics to Prometheus. So Prometheus will be what they call scraping this route every five seconds, which is what we're gonna set it to do. And the way it works is Prometheus will contact this. We set the header to the register content type, which is used by Prometheus. We gather the metrics we have so far, and then we send them to Prometheus. And here, we're just gonna be listening on our container host and port. But let's start configuring Prometheus now. And we can do this with a prometheus.yaml file. And in here, once again, I'm just gonna copy and paste this stuff. And essentially, global right here just specifies some global configuration. We have a scrape interval of five seconds, which is how frequently Prometheus is gonna send a request to this route dash metrics, which by default is the route that Prometheus will contact. So it'll be the name dash metrics it'll be looking for. We're gonna name the job my node app, and we're just gonna set the target to be node C9001, which is a valid address. So it's host and then port. And the reason this is valid is because it's in a Docker network and Docker uses DNS under the hood to resolve container names. So it'll be able to find this because all of this will be Dockerized. But so now let's start Dockerizing everything. And so first we'll dockerize Prometheus. And we're gonna do this with a Docker file. And what I'm gonna do is just copy or use the Prometheus image as the base image. And then we're gonna have an entry point script file that we're gonna to modify to be executable. And we're gonna use that as the entry point. And I'm gonna paste this in right here. And essentially this is gonna be the exact same as the Prometheus entry point that they use by default. But I just wanna print it here because I wanna show you what it does. So for example, we can see that we use the configuration file in the location etc prometheus prometheus.yaml. So we need to copy this file into that location in the container, which we are gonna do with volumes. And then we just have some other flags right here. But the main one I wanted to show you is how the configuration file is set to this location. But once again, this is just the default entry point script file that Prometheus uses. I've just copied it out and put it in here explicitly. But now let's dockerize our node app and so, once again, we're gonna use a Docker file and I'm gonna copy and paste this in. It's gonna be pretty simple. We're just gonna use node version 22, Alpine base, 
image. We're going to copy over our package files and then run npm install and then just start up the application. We're going to use volumes to copy over everything else, which is why we're just copying over the this, this stuff here. But the way we're going to do this now is with docker compose. So we're going to have a docker compose.yaml file and then just going to paste everything in once again. We're going to name our project an environment variable, which is just going to be Prometheus demo. And here are our services. First is our server. We want to build it locally. We give the container a name. We load in our environment variables and we're going to build it from the Docker file in the server folder. And here are our volumes. This one will copy over all our server code and this will prevent Docker from overriding the node modules. If you're curious, I have a video that goes in depth on why we need to do this, but essentially we don't want to override the node modules in the container with the ones on our machine because we're on a different OS than Alpine Linux. Then we map our ports here. And now here's our Prometheus container, which we're going to build it locally from a Docker file in the Prometheus folder. Name our container, our image, create an environment variable file. And then for our volumes, here is where we copy over our Prometheus.yaml file to this location. And then remember our entry point script will use this file. And then we just map the Prometheus ports and here's our node modules volume. And all we need to do now is just spin up this application with and uh, need to go to the top level, but we just run docker compose up and we'll see everything will be building. Prometheus is up and running and our node server is also up and running. So now all we need to do is access Prometheus, which by default is on port 9001, or sorry, not 9001, it's on port 990. Our node server is on port 9001, so 9090, and here we are. But now that we're connected, we can see all this sorts of information so all this stuff here, we can go through and inspect. So say we want to look at active handles, run this. Here we are with the information returned. So we are connected to our node server. So for example, we can look at the event loop lag, all this kind of information. And this is all happening because we are connected to our node server with Docker Compose. And we can see the request coming in right here, which is Prometheus scraping the dash metrics route. This is my video on connecting node to Prometheus. If you like this kind of content, check out my courses linked in the description. Also my Chrome extension linked in the description. If you have any questions, leave them in the comments. I'll check it back to you. Thanks for liking and subscribing. Take care.